banks. Everybody has heard of them, including you if you actually clicked on this video. However, not many people know the whole truth about them. For example, why is it so appealing to us? Why do some people enjoy watching other people eat large amounts of food? Well, it's actually really, really simple. And one of the factors is evolution. We watch food being prepared and actually enjoy the process because our brain is being tricked into thinking that we are about to eat that food that we see being prepared. So in that sense, it does kind of make sense, right? And we basically evolved to enjoy the food preparation process. Because if you prepare food, you get to enjoy these sweet calories later. And I don't have to tell you how that is beneficial. It's honestly pretty self-explanatory. We eat, we become stronger, just like Popeye, you know, but instead of spinach, it's like burgers and fries, I'm guessing. <laughs> and sometimes our preferences for foods and tastes are actually genetic. That means that your preferences are given to you by your mom and dad, like passed to you through your genes. Yeah, to some people, broccoli actually tastes good. Let me know if you're one of those people, like one of those weirdos that like just broccoli. Okay, hold on for just one second. I want to take a quick little second of your time. Well, I said second twice, but anyways, I want to take that second to ask you guys to subscribe to the channel. That's right. I am the sponsor of this video. I made it and I'm going to sponsor it. So you can't tell me anything about it. All right, cool. Anyways, <laughs> it would be a benefit not just to me, but to you as well, because you wouldn't miss any of my amazing videos, right? Yeah, that's a win-win situation. Unless you hate my videos, then yeah, just don't subscribe. It's okay. You can, you can go. <laughs> but if you actually enjoy my content, make sure to click that subscribe button. Anyways, thank you so much to everybody who just subscribed and back into the video. Honestly, I cannot stand broccoli. I don't know how anybody can eat it. It's kind of disgusting. <laughs> and some people unironically eat buckwheat. Like, do you know what buckwheat is? It's like th this weird stuff that they feed to horses and some people actually enjoy it. Yeah, it's, it's pretty wild. But yeah, like I said, our tongues are actually different and that's why some people enjoy one type of food and other people enjoy other types of food. And let me know down in the comments what your favorite type of food is because mine, I don't know, I feel like it's sushi or something. I really love sushi. But for you, it could be something completely different, you know? Anyways, let's get back to the main point of this video. So, mukbangs. They have become a global sensation. However, they actually originated from North... Wait, not North, South Korea. <laughs> I don't think anything originates from North Korea except like bombs and stuff. But anyways, it's from South Korea. These videos showcase individuals indulging in large amounts of food while showcasing it and broadcasting it to the internet, also known as YouTube. And while doing that, they sometimes also interact with the audience uh, via ASMR. Yeah, there's actually food eating ASMR and it's pretty wild. The appeal lies in the satisfying sounds of creating an ASMR-like experience for viewers. But beyond the spectacle, there's actually way more to unpack. And honestly, even like the ASMR stuff, like I can't watch it. Like for me, I, I can't. Like anytime I hear somebody like chewing or something on video, like nom nom nom, that's so disgusting. I can't, that's horrible. <laughs> I don't know how people like that stuff. But anyways, that's not the only bad thing about these mug bank videos. There's a lot more. And it's actually not just that you don't enjoy it, but there's actual like moral reasons why maybe you shouldn't watch these mukbang videos. And let me explain why. So channels like Nikocado Avocado, uh, Solji, and Eat With Boki are just some examples of the many channels that do mukbangs on their videos. But there's a lot more of them. And it doesn't take a genius to figure out that indulging in that amount of food is not really healthy for you. However, some of these creators don't seem to be affected like at all by all the food that they eat. They eat crazy amounts of food and it's not just like salads or anything. It's like burgers and fries and they don't gain any weight at all. If we look at her channel, she has almost 10 million subscribers and her videos come out literally almost every single day. Like eight hours ago, two days ago, five days ago, seven days ago. Okay, that's every other day right now, but it used to be every day that she would post a video and in every single one of these videos, she eats a lot of food and look at her she stays skinny as a stick like how's that possible she's been 
posting since four years ago. Can you imagine eating for four years and staying the same exact person? Like, look at her now and like her oldest video. That is crazy, right? Like, seems kind of impossible. And one starts to wonder, how does she eat so much food and stay so skinny in the process? Well, there's actually a very simple explanation to that. And that is her videos are fake. Yup, that's right. She doesn't actually eat all of that food. Eat with Boki or Boki actually just spits it out. Like she doesn't show how she swallows it most of the time. And let me show you just like a little snippet of it. For example, right here, she doesn't actually show her swallowing the food. Just, just watch it real quick. Boom, did you see that? There was a cut. She didn't swallow the food and she just cut to the next scene, basically, where she swallowed it. But actually, she has like a little trash can that she spits the food out into and then eats another batch. Yeah, it's, it's pretty wild. So yeah, I think you can see the harm that this video does, right? Like, wasting food, that's basically the harm. It, it's messed up. Like, why would you waste food, right? Okay, so one might say that these videos are not, like, always fake. Some of them are real. And yes, that is true. For example, a channel like Nikocado Avocado is actually real. Because you can actually see him gain weight throughout the years. Like, he used to be the skinny guy. And then, like, a year later, he became this, like, the guy he is right now, basically. And yes, it is still a very, very harmful genre of YouTube videos. Because it actually promotes unhealthy healthy habits and one of them being of course glorifying overeating it does glorify that and it's kind of messed up like look at nikocado avocado like he used to look like this and now he ballooned to three times his size and not only that but he also got diabetes from it however nikocado was actually lucky in some sense because he only got diabetes there's actually a couple creators who unfortunately had way worse fates than that that's right some people have actually died because of this content already. The first one being Omar Palermo, which is a famous Italian YouTuber who had a YouTube channel where he would eat large amounts of food and on August 18th, 2021, he suffered a heart attack and unfortunately passed away. It is a very, very sad story and it was basically, yeah, due to the way he was eating on his channel. And another creator by the name of Taylor Claydorm, he's a famous TikToker who is better known as Waffler69. And this guy gained fame from his unique content, which revolved around indulging in strange and nostalgic foods on camera. And he did eat a lot of like very, very unhealthy food just for content as well. And on January 11th, 2023, he unfortunately passed away from a heart attack as well. And this one actually like really hits home for me because I used to watch this guy. This guy like is, is a pretty cool dude. Like uh, I enjoyed his videos a lot and it's really sad to see this guy go so soon. So yeah, this guy will be missed for sure. So there's actually no possible way that somebody can defend these videos for me. There's a lot wrong with it. But however, one might say, well, I'm not actually eating the food. If it's fake, then it's okay, right? Like in the case with eating with Boki, like she's not actually eating the food, right? And I guess it's supposed to be okay right but like i said before it's still not okay because that is even worse imagine how much food that wastes and there's actually people in the world who can't afford to like eat regular food just that they can't afford to provide for their family and these youtubers over here they eat they don't even eat the food they just throw it away just for views and content so where did this mukbang trend come from and yeah like i said it's from south korea and let me just tell you a little more about it so mukbang is a captivating online phenomena that was originated in south korea like i said before around 2010 so it's pretty old <laughs> it's like almost 15 years old now that is crazy and the term mukbang is actually a delightful portmanteau of the korean word eating and broadcast 
slash show. I don't, I'm not sure what part Montiu is, but I'm guessing it's like combined two words that are combined to make like one word. Like mukbang means eating and broadcasting or a show. So it's a it's like big eat, eating show. However, in the late 2000s, a new food culture emerged as a response to loneliness during solitary meals. So the purpose of the original videos was actually to make you feel less lonely while eating the food, like if you're eating it alone. So you would turn on this like YouTuber who's also eating, put him on there and eat with him. That, that actually sounds pretty cool, right? And it actually used to be not large amounts of food. Like before these videos would show like these guys just eating not a lot, just a very little amount of food. Like, just a regular amount for food basically that, that a human being can stomach. But because of YouTube and the way that it works, it basically just got like hyper extended and everybody tried to outdo each other. And because of that, people started eating a lot and unhealthy or maybe or spicy. So something had to be like different about them, you know, and people started eating a lot of food. <laughs> so that's how it became what it is now. And there's another guy that I wanted to talk about whose name is Zach Choi. And this guy is kind of untouchable, honestly. And even I at first thought that this guy is actually legit, but it is impossible to eat that much food and stay in that shape that he stays in. Like, look at this guy. He eats a lot of a lot of unhealthy food, <laughs> like a lot of it. Like, look at this. It, it's all the same color. Look at this. There's not a green thing to be seen anywhere. Literally, like everything is this like brown, super fried food color. And it, it's yeah, it's pretty crazy. And uh, the reason why a lot of people believe this guy is because his cuts are actually very, very sneaky and hard to notice. But they are there and you can't actually notice them if you take a really close look at them. For example, right here, like you can see him drink and swallow the food, but actually like it cuts to him basically there, boom. And after that, he probably like threw it away as well. And there, see? And then he's continuing to eat it again. So yeah, this guy is also pretty guilty. And But his cuts are really, really sneaky and it's hard to tell when he actually spits the food out. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about these videos and if you enjoy them or you think it's also kind of unethical for people to be recording them as well. Because yeah, and let me know if you guys, if you guys think this guy is actually real or fake because I don't think it's possible to stay in that shape. And also another thing that I noticed with uh, Zach Choi uh, is that his he actually hasn't posted any new videos in over a year. So this guy is just like doing compilation of his old videos that he used to do. And it's not even eating. It's just like cooking food. So I'm not sure honestly what happened. But yeah, this guy doesn't post anymore. The last video that he posted was a year ago. And the rest are just like shorts or hour long compilation of shorts. <laughs> and it's all the same, honestly. But anyways, that's it for this video. If you enjoy my content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel because I would appreciate that a lot. And it actually helped my video a lot. So yeah, my name is Oshi and peace out. Bye.